originally from California. At the time when I lived there, I even heard of, uh, heard of Lion Trapeze, but uh, I moved to the East Coast and uh, was working in a music business and went on a vacation to Club Med and saw the trapeze and saw how beautiful it was and people were having a great time and going up in much fear and coming down very triumphant and thought this is a great idea. I came back to the New York area looking for a place to train and there were no flying trapezes to be had so I thought I would open my own school. And the first position that we actually do is actually a knee hang position. When you're up there is you want to put your hips forward okay, and your shoulders back. Now you'll be able to lean forward a lot more when she's holding you in the back of the bout so what you want to do is push your hips forward and shoulders back and your both hands go out by the bar. That's the position that you want. What you don't want to do is bend your back like so and push your butt out. You want to just keep your hips forward and shoulders back. That's the position that you want when you are about to do the takeoff. Uh, safety is absolutely a priority for us. That's the first thing that we think about when we have people here at the school. And we've done a lot of work to sort of refine and define the way that we do our procedures so that everybody who comes to the school has a really solid, safe, but very exhilarating experience. Our job is to keep it really safe, but make it feel like you're completely on your own and, and doing your own thing. So you get a real feeling of what it's like to fly through the air. For the knee hang position, okay, so we've just taken off the board. Okay, we're staying nice and straight, we're just relaxed. When I say the first command, it's gonna be legs up. You're gonna bring both knees to your chest, head back and hook your legs underneath, then over the top of the bar. Next command is gonna be hands off. You take your hands off, arms straight, head back. Next, reach up, grab the bar. Good work. And let go. Because the main thing to me uh, in a teacher is someone who's a very good hearted, has a lot of patience and a lot to give to, a lot to give to my students. Let's give it a go. Let's Come do this. By the way, how how high is this? I think it's about 35 feet. 35 feet. Okay, great views of the Little West Side Highway of New York. It's wonderful. All right, so Rest of both worlds, you get Palma. adventure and you get scenery. The really magical thing about being located here, especially in the Hudson River Park, is that we have the Hudson River right next to us. We get a beautiful view of downtown Manhattan. Uh, the Statue of Liberty is just over my left shoulder. I can't really imagine a more special place. At night, all the lights light up, the people come out, everybody's watching and cheering, people flying, and the feeling is just very good. It's very family. It feels like it brings the whole city together right here in our little, our little home here up on the roof. Reach out to grab your bar. Good job. Thumbs underneath. Put your left hand on the bar. Bring the bar up. Roll your shoulders back and your hips forward. We have a knee hang. Ready? Up. Good job. Good job. Oh, underneath. Good. Wait there. Wait. I can't let go. Okay, you can do it. You can do it. Hands up. Feet in front. Good job. The reason New York City needed a trapeze school, especially at the time that we came in, which was shortly after 9-11, is I think people were looking for a reason to feel good about being alive again. And uh, there's nothing but aliveness at this school. There's a lot of joy going on here all the time. There's screams of elation and excitement and people just uh, challenging their fears and having a great time. So I think this is one of the best things to do in the city.